With the new noise falloff shape in Cinema 4D Release 19, you can easily add randomness and chaos to your MoGraph effectors and deformers. Here I have a basic plane effector that I'm using to scale my clones down to negative one. All of the interesting animation that you see here is coming from the noise falloff shape. So I could be using something like box, but instead I'm applying a noise field as the falloff for my effector. And in here you have options to choose from all of Cinema 4D's fantastic built-in noise types, as well as Perlin and Ridge Multifractal Noise. Now when you choose one of these, you can of course adjust the seed, the scaling, you can adjust the low clip and the high clip, and in order to more easily visualize the noise field itself, you have the option to show this noise box. So here we're showing a showing it in the X plane. We can also show the Y plane and the Z plane. And now you can get a really good look at the noise field that is set up for the fall off of this object and how the various clipping and scaling is going to affect that noise field. Now, of course, we can use the built-in animation of the noise patterns for this, but we can also turn off that animation and instead simply animate the object through the noise field or the noise field through the object by moving the effector itself. So there's lots of different options for creating some really unique effects with this noise falloff shape. Now, of course, this applies to deformers as well. Here I have a scene where I'm using a collision deformer to transform a basketball into a football. And if I don't use the noise falloff shape, this animation is pretty boring. But by adding the noise falloff shape, I'm able to add some chaos into that transformation and make it a lot more interesting. Now, of course, here again, I have the option to choose between all of the noise types in Cinema 4D. So again, I can go to something like that mod noise and get something that's more like a boxy transformation. Uh, and we can, of course, continue to adjust the scaling and we can show the box in order to get a closer look at the noise pattern itself. So that's a look at what you can do with the new noise falloff shape in Cinema 4D Release 19. I look forward to seeing what you do with it. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.